weather in the room seems to be getting cloudier. Looks like there's lightning on the horizon. Well, the weatherman said there was a chance of ominous music. Oh god, you know what that means. PSAs are coming! <laughs> Oh good, a commercial from Canada, our friendly neighbors from the north. They're always so kind in everything they do. Oh look, a baby shower for an expecting mother. Oh, you got the little girl there and everything. Oh my god, this is gonna be adorable. What is that? It's a rape whistle. What the fuck, Canada? I mean, talk about an uncomfortable blow to your nads. Is this how you do all your serious commercials? Start off with something innocent and lighthearted and then smash it down into cruel, cruel reality? I mean, it's like starting off an ad like this. You know, a hard day's work doesn't call for water out of the cooler. What do you got there? I got me a nice bottle of mountain water. Cool, refreshing, big on taste, but also big on satisfaction. But what do you got there? I got pancreatic cancer. <sighs> Sheesh, I mean, this can't be good for tourism. Who the hell would want to go to Canada after learning that statistic? Do they have that on the entry sign to the place? Welcome to Canada, one in two girls will be physically or sexually abused? That's pretty awkward! I mean, how do you think the expecting mother feels? What is that? It's a rape whistle. Well, Grandma just ruined the baby shower. I'm gonna go hit the vodka. No, oh, wait, can't drink. That's right, that's right. Yeah. Again, great timing, Grandma. I know you mean well, guys, but... Jesus! It's a rape whistle. A message from Concerned Children's Advertisers. Oh, thank God, another Canadian commercial. They'll calm us down from all this open your mouth and close your eyes controversy. Why do you think your mommy or daddy are always telling you, don't put that in your mouth? God damn it, Canada. Don't you put it in your mouth. Don't you put it in your mouth. Don't you stuff it in your face. Don't stuff it in your face. So it might look good to eat. So it might look good to eat. And it might look good to taste. And it might look good to taste. You could get sick. Yuck. Real quick. Yuck. Really? You were looking for a word to rhyme with sick and that's the best one you could come up with in this scenario? Don't you put it in your mouth. Uh-uh. Tell you ask some... God, do they have to look so possessed while singing it too? It just doesn't add to the overall feel of the experience. If you don't know just what it is, go for Just play it, y'all know it's coming. It's a rape whistle. Canada! Canada. I make fun of you with this because you have nothing else to make fun of. Don't put it in your mouth. Yeah. Always ask someone you love before you put anything in your mouth. Except if that something in your mouth is the person that you love. Here's a little PSA from Canada. Nah. -uh. Nope, I've learned my lesson. Canada is fucked up. They may look all cute and innocent, but then they're sneaking in rape whistles and putting dicks in your mouth and God knows what else. Well, I'm not falling for it this time. I'm the sous chef here. With any luck, I should be head chef by next year. Oh, well that sounds kind of nice. I've got this amazing fiance. Oh, well that sounds sweet. A nice couple finally found love. Well, I won't be marrying this weekend. Oh, what, you had to change the date or something? God, that's always so hard when that happens. Because I'm about to be in a terrible accident. Huh? But really, I should have cleaned up the grease over there. And they should never put the deep fryer so close. <laughs> oh, 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 God! Oh, God! Canada, you're sick! You're sick, Canada! What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> she was gonna be married, and then you fucked up with her face! You're sick! You're sick, Canada! No, 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 I don't care what you're advertising, because you're sick! You're sick, Canada! I am never visiting you, because you're scary! You're a scary place, Canada! Put it on your flag! You're scary! We're keeping Michael J. Fox! You keep whatever the hell we gave you! Which is probably nothing.
Jacek! Here's another PSA from Canada. Oh no. No, 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 no. I've been fooled by your PSAs before, Canada. You always try to make them look so friendly and nice. But then there's rape whistles and face burnings and putting things in your mouth. Well, I'm ready for you this time, Canada. Do your worst. It's nighttime in a kitchen just like yours. Uh-huh. All is quiet. Or is it? Blah, blah, blah. What the shit was that? The North American house hippo is found throughout Canada and the eastern United States. What? House hippos are very timid creatures and are rarely seen. But they will defend their territory if provoked. They come out at night to search for food, water, and materials for their nests. Uh, what? They, 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 they eat children or something? The favorite foods of the house hippo are chips, raisins, and the crumbs from peanut butter on toast. I'm not falling for your cuteness, Cat. Where are you going with this? They build their nests in bedroom closets using lost mittens, dryer lint, and bits of string. And then they flamethrower your family don't smoke? House hippos sleep about 16 hours a day. That looked really real, but you knew it couldn't be true, didn't you? That's why it's good to think about what you're watching on TV and ask questions, kind of like you just did. A message from Concerned Children's Advertisers. Well, that was nice. Downright adorable. So oh let me get God, this straight, Canada. Canada. You start off your dark, disturbing PSAs as cute and innocent, and start off your cute and innocent PSAs as dark and disturbing. What are you, Canada? You're like a riddle inside an enigma inside a please and thank you. Uh, okay, cool. The house hippo. Don't believe everything you see. Fair enough. A cute, harmless, even educational PSA. Good for you, Canada. I will not have nightmares tonight. Okay. We good, Canada. We good. Thank you for that enlightening, very pleasant PSA. Well, on to the next one. Okay, so here's one from Britain called Electricity Football. Oh, cool. I always wonder what their version of electric football was like. Look, over there there's a football! Oh, oh yeah. it's that kind of football. That's fine. I'm still curious to see how kids play that. Hang on, mate. This place is electrified. You alright if you don't touch anything? I'm not seeing any plugs or boards. Was this a Parker Brothers game? Oh, 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 oh Jesus! Oh, oh, good lord! Oh, sweet heavenly god, no! Seven. Oh my god, 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 oh Stay out. Oh, trust me, I will! You electrocute kids like bug zappers! You're sick! You're sick, Britain! You can keep your Terry Gilliam because you're sick! You're sick! <laughs> okay, here's something more chipper. A delightful little doggy. Aren't you the cutest little thing? Oh my god, you're the most adorable little guy. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> you're so adorable, they're just kind of keeping the camera on you, aren't they? Yeah, just, uh, not really saying anything, not hearing any announcers. Guess they're just banking on your cuteness. Okay, I can go with that. You're the cutest little guy. You're the most adorable little thing in the world. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, Christ. Oh, shit. Holy, whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell? What the hell? What? 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 Please give us a pound. Or we'll have to pull the trigger. What in fluffy shit was that? Is this a terrorist hostage video for PetSmart? What was this even for? RSPCA? What the, let me look that up. An animal welfare charity in Britain. Oh, of course! When you're doing crumpets, you're all muppets and dancing, but when you're doing PSAs, you're killing dogs! New Canada!
just listen to the wording they use in this. Please give us a pound, or we'll have to pull the trigger. Are they trying to get across the message that if you give them the money, they'll be able to stop cruelty to animals? Was that what they were trying to get across? Well, you failed miserably. Yeah, it doesn't come across that way at all. They literally say, give us a pound or we'll pull the trigger. I would think this is a gritty reboot of Cats and Dogs, directed by Christopher Nolan. They don't even say what RSPCA stands for. Well, in my mind, it stands for really shitty puppy crucifying assholes. This got such a negative backlash that they cut down the PSA and had a kid sing how much is that doggy in the window while answering how much a dog really does cost. Yeah, don't forget to include the funeral, you sick shits. In fact, that ironically contradicts the last one they did. Where this one says don't spend the cash if you can't afford it, the other one says give us the cash or you'll see Benji's brains! Okay, I'm done with this one. It's horrible, it doesn't get the point across, it's just disturbing. Please show me a different one to watch. Those lonely pound puppies really- Oh, don't show me that- No! Pound puppy, I'm so glad to find you. Put that lonely puppy pound behind you. Pound puppy, I'm so glad to find you. Put that lonely puppy pound behind you. Okay, come on, come on. Maybe I won't think of the PSA. Pound puppies. Pound. Give us a pound and we'll pull the trigger. I'm sorry, you're cute, but I need time. If you disturb easily, warning, these are from Britain. Yeah, Britain's PSAs in the last few episodes I've done have gained quite a reputation of being <laughs> unpleasant to say the least. So let's see how this latest batch goes over. If you hit me at 40 miles an hour, there's around an 80% chance I'll die. Charming. Oh, I do hope they show this during Thomas and Friends. Hit me at 30 and there's around an 80% chance I'll live. Or how about the better lesson of just don't hit any kids! Jeez, a good message, but man, how about a positive way to get the idea across? Okay, a cute cartoon. This should be better. The boy who didn't stop, look, and listen. Of course that's the title. He loved to play football all day, but the boy didn't cross in a safe place. The car hit him at quite a pace, and now he cannot play football, because his leg broke in more than one place. Bottom line, you can never have fun with a broken leg. It's British law. We were gonna kill him to get our point across better, but our dartboard of human innocence is running out of room. Oh, and don't worry, there's a sequel. The girl who didn't dress bright in the dark. A car drove right into her guts and covered her with bruisey cuts. That's right, even what you wear can kill you. Enjoy existing, kids! Again, I give credit trying to get a really good message across, but man, these are messed up. Which I know is the point, but Man, these are messed up. Ugh, I'm gonna see if their neighbor Ireland has any more chipper PSAs. She's got a smile that it seems to me. Seems more pleasant. Now and then when I see her face, she... Is this even a PSA? It looks more like a car commercial. Memories for everything. Yeah, I think it is. Certainly feels more like one. A bunch of kids playing outside, a parent coming to pick them up, and a shiny vehicle, a kid holding a toy of that vehicle. All right, I can review this as a charming little car commercial. <clears throat> it's honestly very soothing with a nice song and cinematography. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god! Since 2000, speeding has killed a classroom of our children. Shame on you. Shame on me! I didn't do anything and you gave me pancake kids! I thought that was a car commercial, but it was the waving of a bloody skeleton finger! What if the person watching doesn't drive? What if they're unable to drive? What if they're kids? Jesus, did kids see this? Apparently this got so much backlash, it was allowed to only be shown after 9 p.m. No shit! What the hell would you tell your little boy watching that? Look, Billy, that's the last face you can make before you're carred to death! How the hell would anyone go back to watching their family shows after seeing this? We now return to the wonderful world of Disney. There's no coming back! 
back from that. It's just too extreme. It's too intense. Stop making me watch you, you well-meaning psychos! Shame on you. That's it! That's it! Ireland is the new Britain! The order now is Ireland is the new Britain, and Britain is the new Canada. So now the question is, who's gonna be the new Ireland? Who's gonna be the new Ireland? Yeah, I'll do it when I get back. This one's from New Zealand. Okay, I know them for Lord of the Rings and nothing else. Let's see if they got. You know they got in Kirk's class. Well, Darren. Nah. Who's Mike? The one with the funny Oh, people? him. He's such a geek. Well, hey, you you know know that, that, that. Oh, Christ, just crash already. Oh, they're allowing us to know them before our hearts are ripped out. Or theirs, we'll have to see. He's so cool. He's in the weed, mate. Did he say weed? Is that legal in New Zealand? Yep, here we go. Yeah, okay. Thought it'd be worse. Jesus Christo! How long was that girl in the air? That was like a cartoon! Lovely. Okay, well, we get the point. Oh, no, we gotta do a play-by-play. -play. I mean, I think there were only two moves, fly and plummet. We can put together what happens in between. Okay, point well made. Do commercials have a part two now? Why does everybody think they're the Dune movies? Okay, we good? We over? Oh, okay, that was the next ad. But honestly, would it shock you if there was a part three? I mean, man, can you imagine a kid going back to his Saturday morning cartoons after that? And now, back to the Care Bears. Okay, that was fucked up. Congratulations, New Zealand. You're the new Canada, the new Britain, the new Northern Ireland. Yeah, that's right. It's in Northern Ireland instead of Ireland this time. I got it right. I mean, geez, what's the big difference between the two anyway? Okay, that was a big difference, but you get the point. You are the new messed up kid, New Zealand! Oh god, we got another one? Where's this one from? Australia? Train schedules can change. Oh, and trains are involved. That's gonna end well. Never enter a crossing unless you are absolutely sure your exit is clear. God. God, 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 God! Don't play with trains. Game over, man! The world has made me afraid of everything! I take it this was a campaign? There were a lot of these? Sweet Maple Jesus, of course there is! Don't you want people to go outside? I mean, are Australia's regular ads this messed up? Let me guess, this was also a popular campaign. Oh, yup. Okay, now you got the trophy. You're the new New Zealand. Anything else you want to scare me with? One back in America. Oh, I can't wait. Do you want to trade? That's a brick. Okay, that is the most creatively disturbing thing I've seen in a while. Good job. What's it a PSA for? Respect the pouch! Respect it! Wait, this was an ad for Capri Sun? And not just an ad, this was also a campaign. The idea was some kid somewhere disrespects a bag of Capri Sun and is punished in a fitting way. And not just a fitting way, a freaky as hell way. Each of these is like a scary stories ending. When I first saw them, I swore it was an ad against drugs or bullying or, I don't know, something more warranting of such creepy imagery. But no, it was to sell a children's fruit drink you have in summer. And this is by far some of the most imaginative, unnerving surrealism I've seen on TV. Fish! <laughs> okay. I guess we come full circle. Not only is the most uncomfortable PSA in America, but it's not even a PSA. It's a goddamn kids ad. Good job! Life! 
You really threw me for a loop. Now please, in God's name, no more. Back it now. Respect the pouch. Respect it. Uh oh, we're at the point where those creepy ass PSA start up. You know what? I don't even care anymore. You've beaten down any hope of humanity, so just show me the strangest you got. An accident! An accident! An accident! Good start. Yes, bizarrely, the cats from the hit Broadway musical did PSAs back in the 80s. Which is already faulty, as if cats would care a shit about your health. Someone is smoking over there. Something we cats would never do. Filling their lungs with thick, dark hair. What a disgusting thing to do. Why can't they be like us at all, licking our dicks, vaginas, and balls? Listen to cats, you men and women. Take care of your lungs. They're only human. I don't see this leaving an impact. Now if Judy Dench was staring at you saying all this, you do whatever she says before she climbs into your brain and mind fucks you. The American Lung Association, the Christmas Seal people. It wasn't just smoking they pretended to care about though. Child safety was also a big concern among cats as countless video footage has shown. There was a child in the car. A child. A child? A child? Scheduled? No one wants a child to become a memory. Wow, long way to go for a song pun. By the way, the child in this? Probably dead. Let's see if Mr. Mustafeles can magic him back to life. Oh, well, never was there Oh, no, no, I can't do that. Too much of him is separated from the rest. That's... That's a puzzle I can't complete. I guess compared to other weird PSAs, this isn't that bad. They mean well, they're just hard to take seriously. Especially when dealing with an animal like a cat. I don't know, Chaplin, do you care about... Yeah, that's about what I guessed. I'm a bad role model. What would you do if you were the victim of a crime? Hey, hey, Captain Lou Albano! And not just that, he's playing Mario! Stay calm, then find a phone and call the police. Tell them your name and where you are, what happened, and if anyone was hurt. Yeah, okay, I'm not gonna lie, this is kinda cool. Apparently when he did the Super Mario Bros. Super Show, he did a lot of PSAs on various subjects. This guy is so cool, I feel like I can listen to him talk about anything. Do you know someone that owns a gun? Okay, it's a little weird hearing Mario say that. Remember, guns and knives can kill. I'm telling it to you. You said that like you've killed many people with those weapons. Have you been fingerprinted yet? It's fun. I'm eight! Why would I be fingerprinted, giant pointing Mario? I think a lot of it is his pointing. A lot of ways saying isn't bad, it just comes across as so accusatory with that finger of objection. Leave them alone. I'll admit what I like most is as much as he's into these PSAs, what he seems to be the most direct and passionate about is advertising his own show. When you go out to play, be sure to let your parents know where you'll be and with whom you'll be playing. Holy cannoli, kids, I'm Mario, and I'm telling you, if you're not watching the Super Mario Brothers Super Show, you're gonna turn into a Goomba. If they need you, or if you don't come home on time, they have to know where to look. Don't be the last on your block to be playing with pasta power. I know different amounts of energy I require for both. It's just funny to compare them. We're gonna kick some Koopa. Woo! The Super Mario Brothers. I also love that they forget to edit before he breaks character. Woo! He's like, okay, get me a smoke. But by far, the one everyone remembers the most, big shock, is the drug PSA. I'm Captain Lou Albano talking to you about drugs. Kids, don't be afraid to say no. Remember, don't be afraid to turn to your priest, your rabbi, your minister. I thought they were just used for starting dirty jokes. Because drugs can kill. And if you do drugs, you go to hell before you die. Did I say the gun thing was weird to hear Mario say? That was two minutes ago when I was naive and innocent. What the hell, Nintendo mascot? As funny as this is, you'll notice he's not doing the Mario voice for it. And by God, if there's anything funnier than Pee Wee Herman in character telling me about crack, Mario in character telling me I'm going to hell, 
must be its own special high. Kids, you have no idea how many Yoshis I sold to feed my habit. I came from the Mushroom Kingdom, all you have to do is sniff the floor, and you're literally flying. I lost so many toads to this addiction. No, they didn't do drugs, I did them. You ever wonder why there's so few civilians in town? Choose rotting away at the end of it all, piecing your last in a miserable home. Nothing more than an embarrassment to the selfish, fucked up brats who spawned to replace yourself. Choose your future, choose life. But why would I want to do a thing like that? I choose not to choose life, I choose something else. And the reason? There are no reasons. Who needs reasons when you've got heroin? If you're not watching the Super Mario Bros. Super Show, you're gonna turn into a Goomba and go to hell before you die. Woo! Captain Lou, I love you, and I love these PSAs. They are mad uncomfortable, but that's why I love them. God bless you, sir. You are the best Mario to ever tell me I'm going to hell. Remember, guns and knives can kill. I'm telling it to you. I am the spirit of dark and lonely water. Okay, I guess this is the big scary one that a lot of people were sending me. It's called Lonely Water, and it's narrated by Donald Pleasant, who plays an evil Grim Reaper character who traps and kills kids in unsafe areas. It's certainly eerie. And this is the kind of place you'd expect to find me. The boy is showing off. The bank is slippery. Not gonna lie, I'm still on that Mario PSA. It's the perfect place for an accident. Oh, yes, 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 very disturbing. I can't believe they show that. The show-offs are easy. But the unwary ones are easier still. And if you do drugs, you go to hell before you die. Sorry, sorry, continue. This branch is weak, rotten. <sighs> It'll never take his way. Yeah, the twerp had it coming. At least he didn't do drugs. He'd be in hell before he died. Under the water, there are traps. Old cars, bedsteads, weeds, hidden depths. I know this has all the check marks to creep me out, but... I'm still thinking about Mario telling me I'm going to hell. That's surprisingly staying with me more. Even though it was freaking weird, it still felt genuine somehow. Maybe it doesn't always have to be big scares, it's just the little things. Ready to trap the unwary, the show-off, the fool. Yeah, sorry, this is well made and disturbing and all, but I think the country that had the most disturbing PSA this year is the Mushroom Kingdom. I just don't think we're gonna top that. I'll be back. Yeah, yeah, you'll haunt my nightmares. Don't worry, Captain Lou! I will never do drugs! I will instead... Do the Mario! Swing your arms from side to side just like that! You go to hell before you die. Please. In honor of Gilbert Gottfried passing this year, I figured I gotta talk about this one. Gottfried plays a smoke detector teaching kids about fire safety. Admittedly, it is pretty funny getting someone with that kind of voice to play a fire alarm. Who are you? Seymour Smoke! Smoke Detector! <laughs> I'm basically Pennywise if I was left on the grill and smashed with a spatula! <laughs> I hate smoke! It's disgusting! Ironic, because it sounds like I smoke a tire fire every other day! Cause when they smoke, there may be fire! That's what my agent said every time I did a risque tweet. Good tip, Seymour. What does that mean, Seymour? It means I'm tripping balls. What is up with that face he's making? <laughs> like the last look a deep fried hamburger helper makes. It's so unnerving. How many smoke detectors do you have in your home? Is there one outside your bedroom? Is there? There should be. You'll see more of me later. In that reoccurring nightmare where Pac-Man's a clown. Let's be honest, though, we all know where we really want this to go if a random kid hurt Gilbert Godfrey from, well, really anything. Whoa, who are you? Seymour Smoke! Smoke Detector! Wow, well, what are you doing here? A talent agent is sitting in his office. A family walks in. That talent agent goes, what kind of an act do you do? Then the father shits on the floor. The mother shits on the floor. The dog pisses and shits on the, the floor. The talent agent says, well, that's an interesting act, which is kind of an understatement. I'll wait till you're ready. It's no masterpiece, but does leave an impression. And you know a lot of that is from the loudmouth wonder himself. Be cool about five, so whenever I see it or smell it, I make this noise to warn you. What do you want to get? Ice cream. Okay, we've been running low on PSAs recently, but I think I found a pretty good one. 
It starts with a woman and her kid walking down the street when it looks like someone's watching them. Let's go, honey. Whoa, what the hell? What the hell, what the hell, what the hell, what the hell? Oh my god, you're surrounded! Run, bitch, run! Together, we can find a child by signing up for free wireless Amber Alerts on your cell phone. Excuse me, I think my brain needs to explode. Holy shit, was that a good twist! I 100% did not see that coming! First of all, talk about the most intimidating good Samaritans! What, did they get my loan from that Harold and Kumar joke? Even that van, I swear, was giving me evil eyes! Who's driving a windowless van and not up to something? Screw what I was saying before about these girls, they were probably the ones doing the abducting the whole time! Second, who thought up such a brilliant but insane demented idea? Of course, Canada! The Twilight Zone of PSAs! Well, screw it. You won me over with this one. I'm gonna sign up for all these alerts, even if I'm not Canadian. And I will never text stop. I want to see what crazy twist will be at the end of another one of these stories. In fact, I want a twist like that. Here, I'm gonna sign up for it right now. Boom! There we go. Now where's my twist ending? Oh, hi, Tamara. So different. What's going on? I... Oh my god. I know what this is. I know what's going on. I, I know what they did to me. They turned me into a Canadian PSA! I would just did not see that coming. Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> Where am I now? Don't you put it in your mouth. Don't you put it in your mouth. Don't you stop it in your face. Oh. God, they're so creepy and unpleasant. Oh, it might look good to eat. Oh, it might look good to eat. Oh, jeez, I can't look at them. Take me away. Now where am I? Oh, no, not this one. Not this one. You know what happens if we play this one. What is that? It's a... Damn you, Canada! <laughs>